I'm going to do a grocery haul today. I've just been cleaning up, filming videos. I've been feeling um, like really drained lately, energy-wise, and it's really, really weird. I'm normally like so high energy. I wake up early, and I was like looking into it, and there's a huge solar. Oh, what's it called? So solar something. I literally, what the? I literally just was talking to Ollie about it. There's basically a huge thing going on with the sun, and it's like people feel nauseous, get headaches, can't sleep, and feel really drained, which is so crazy. Because last night I was feeling super sweaty all night. I had my AC on super high, which I don't even like it on high, but I was just like sweating so much and I felt like I almost had a fever, but I didn't because I'm not sick. And then I woke up at like 4 a.m. What do you think I was supposed to like, puke and I haven't eaten since like dinner and I I had um, something from a Mexican restaurant that I always get and it's just crazy. And right now this, I look, look all of LA, there was like a fire too, because the sun's so strong. It's like all orange and in smoke and it's literally insane. Everyone's been tweeting about it. Um, but yeah, like, I'm like glad, I like I was like, I knew that something was off with that because I'm always really affected by things like that. I'm really affected by new and full moons also. If you're into that, you can research it if you know what I'm talking about, but I'm always really strongly affected and I just, it's crazy because I've just felt like so low energy and just like not like me. Like, I always wake up at 7.30. I always feel like energized and I literally today I woke up at 10 and I was so exhausted. I couldn't barely walk and I didn't go out or anything last night, so I don't know if people would be like, yeah. Like, I literally went to bed at 10, so. But I went to Whole Foods. I wanted to do a haul. I'm going to move everything over. I just carried up three bags by myself to my apartment and a things of succulents. Like, what the heck? I'm so strong. It was so hard at that. They're going to drop any second. But I got some succulents in Venice yesterday. I found like a little plant shop while I was driving by and I just pulled over, parked, and found some cute succulents. I thought I'd show you. I got this one. Dun, 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 dun. Super cute and pretty. And then I got this one. And the woman there was so nice and they had so many. I think I'm going to be getting a big plant for my apartment later too. So that's really cool. We'll just start with this bag. One second, I'm just gonna move over. Lol, help. Look at all this stuff. Meep, meep, meep. Coco's like, yes. Yeah, I got her wet food and I got her her food, but it's still in the car because there was no, I didn't have any more hands to even carry it with. But I got some exciting things. Like I've never tried like vegan stuff, so I'm about to show you. This is all obviously vegan, but some like cool stuff too. Oh my gosh. One more time, Veronica. Okay, well, I love sitting on the kitchen floor well. Um, so first I got these tortilla chips, and these are in their like glu a vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, no artificial ingredients in salsa verde. So it looks like this. I probably should, I feel like I should be sitting more back here. But then I got some kettle coke chips. These are like my absolute favorite thing ever. Oh my gosh, it's literally insane. I just throw away a ton of stuff in my freezer though. It's old too right now before I put the sip in. Mmm. Coco, you want, you want to smell? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got some soft pretzel burger buns and my veggie burgers. I got two vegan cookies of this brand that I wanted to try. It sounds really good. Colossal chocolate chip cookie. It's zero zip eggs, zilch dairy, zero trans fat. I got um a... <laughs> it's called low sodium vegetable soup. Like how? Like I don't know. I just love it, but it's so good. It's just literally veggies and it has like no salt in it at all. So I do like like eat it with a chip or something because it's really bland otherwise. But I like it. I got one vegan donut because I've been I want one. Sorry, Coco. Got two bundles of bananas because I eat like five a day. So these will last me a few days. Hi. She's literally look look. She's on my lap. Hi, babe. She's like you need roomy. Yeah, girl. I got you some stuff too. And I got her her food. I'm gonna give her food soon too. Got her plums, uh, her plums, me plums. She's in the Whole Foods bag. She's literally in this bag. Why are you in the Whole Foods bag? Like guys, what? Are you okay? Oh, this I'm really just gonna try. I love this brand called Beyond Meat. They have, everything is incredible from there. It's like Gardein, I'd say they're equally good. Oh my gosh, like so delicious. They have these like um, big beef crumbles that are really good to make tacos with, but they came out with a vegetarian, it's vegan. I checked all the ingredients. Ro roasted sweet potato, potato chili. It's made with their Beyond Beef crumbles, chili sauce, tomatoes, pepper, and fire roasted corn. And I got two because I had a good feeling about it. I don't know where the other one is. I just felt like I was gonna like it. So I just got two. I got this 
Whole Foods has so many vegan options. That's why I love it. Like, it was like Trader Joe's, but for me, there's just not enough options. And I'm a pretty, I don't, I don't want to say picky, but I'm kind of a picky eater. So I just, I don't know. That's why I don't, haven't been getting some Trader Joe's in like the past half a year. But this is like, they use the Gardein chicken. So it's like not, it's the that brand. That's why it's called the Chicken Lime Chicken Wrap. And it says vegan right there. They have a ton of these wraps. If you have a Whole Foods, check it out. They, the section with all this stuff is lit. Um, if you're like on the go, they have like, Little cartons of like roasted potatoes, roasted cauliflower, a bunch of vegan wraps. Like so awesome. I'm so proud of Whole Foods. It makes me so happy. Because it's hard to find like quick food that's vegan sometimes like that. Like especially if you're just on the run of like a meeting or you have at work and you have a lunch break or something. Two organic raspberries. I got six apples. I got this. I'm so excited. It's organic beet noodles. I love beets. They're like my favorite vegetable. So, I'm really excited. She keeps walking on me. I got two Boca burgers. One in the spicy chicken and one in the normal one. I love Boca burgers. They taste like the most real one. Like, they're not, they're not out of quinoa or anything like that. So, I got an organic blackberry. Another organic blackberry. Coco, her food. Oh, yeah. This is her food. I'm going to... It, it's the... I got the Halo brand and the Wellness brand. But I'm gonna, I have to, she already has an open wet food from today, so I have to go get that. Two lemons just to put my water in tea. And obviously spicy hot guacamole. I like it really hot. I don't know. Um, a vegan sushi roll, which just has cucumber, carrot, avocado, and brown rice. I should have grabbed more soy sauce packets, but I have some because I always grab a lot, so no worries. I have a second roasted sweet chili. Um, I just got these because I was like, oh, like sometimes I'm a lazy bitch. Like I, I have potatoes and I cut them up and I put them in the oven for 45 minutes. But sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I'm lazy. So I got these crispy seasoned potato puffs, which obviously aren't the best because um, oh my god, are these these might not be vegan. It says sour cream. Fuck. I should. I usually look at ingredients. Oh my god, it has milk. So okay, I'll give these. Maybe I'll text Lindsay if you decide to be lazy with your potatoes. I got a vegan pizza from the Whole Foods brand, which is really mini. And it's really cute, and I don't know, it's just nice if I'm on the go and being lazy. Also, oh my god, I love these. This is the Light and Lean Sweet and Sour Asian Noodle. It's vegan. It even says, like, ingredients, and then just says, in bold vegan. They start doing this. They don't have to look through every fucking ingredient. Like, sorry I'm swearing, but it's, like, sometimes it's annoying. I have to Google stuff, so I love when they just say vegan. Like, thank you. And these are just, like, noodles. I eat mostly, like I said, fruits and plants all day, and then at night for dinner, I'll usually make something like this. Or like have sushi rolls, you know. Coco loves being on camera. She's a diva. Is your private jet coming soon? Yeah. Um, and then I got lime pops because I love some frozen lime pops. Then I've been, okay guys, I used to be scared of black beans. Like I never liked black beans. Like I honestly thought they were the scariest thing ever. I was like, it looks like poop. And then two weeks ago I tried black beans for the first time. And you're probably like, I know. And now I'm obsessed with them. So I got this, um, it's just quinoa and black beans. Ugh, carve the fuck up, delicious, cannot wait. Also, once again, I was being a lazy bitch and I'm not gonna cut up watermelon, I'm just not. So I got this chunk, which was $10, which was probably so overpriced. And most, oh my god, there was a fruit like thing, a fruit like this, like kiwi and strawberry, and it was literally $25. I was like, is that a joke? But this is probably a joke too, but I just, I don't know. It's simple and I was like, whatever. Also, I saw this and it looked interesting. Um, so it's, it's this original veggie bites, they're just made with whole grains and vegetables and their little bites so if I'm ever wanting a quick snack and these are in the oven for like what 10 minutes so cool and the guy who made these like opened um a girl sorry she had a vegan restaurant and this was like one of their things and she decided to make it yeah so that's cool that's all I got. I know that was a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed though. If you're also vegan, I love watching vegan grocery hauls because it inspires me to try things I've literally never tried. I'm like, whoa. Like some, something that's, some things that someone's getting weekly as their normal thing, you might be like, I've never thought of that. So hopefully if you're vegan, this helps you out. And if you're trying to transition, it helps you kind of see like what I would eat normally. Uh, I, I already do have a lot of pasta and rice at home, so I didn't get that, but I do eat a lot of um, pasta. And I like just, I honestly am so, I I'm just put a little bit of oil on it. I don't like sauce because I don't like tomato sauce. So yeah I know it's weird and then I like make a lot of rice I just have a huge bag of it that I just make so that's what's up I hope you guys enjoyed this video I also um yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one what's up why am I ending it like that Coco's climbing she's literally being a wild woman mm -hmm.